Okay, good morning. Welcome to Shiva YouTube. Just off it. Today we're doing the Dharam Daf Nemalif number 41. We have a great share for you today, as usual. Um, today is Daf of Agarita. Um, things, most of the things are kind of hard to understand. I'll try to help you understand them a little bit. Let's start. Memo and Bay is on the bottom. <coughs> Uh, the two dots, three lines from the bottom. It's also three lines from the top. It's only five lines on this top. I'm a Rabbi Ami, I'm a Rabbi Rav. My Dixiv, Ata Ben Adam, Aselecha Kli Gola. This is in Yechezkel. Hashem is saying to Yechezkel, go to Golas and make for your thing, make for yourself Kalim that you need in Golas. What are those things? Zu Ner, Vikara Ner, a lamp, a Kara, is a bowl to eat with. Kind of hard to eat food without a plate. With shatiach, also a mat. When you get out of bed in the morning, you want to have some carpeting underneath your feet. Otherwise, your feet get very cold. Bechos are cold. This is a pasuk in the Klalos in the Torah. What is considered lacking everything? Amar Rabbi Ami, Amar Rav. Below Nera, below Shulchan. If you lack a lamp, you can't see. Below Shulchan, you don't have a table to eat at. That's considered lacking everything. Or Bechista, Amar Rav, below Ishar. Bechista said it refers to not having a wife. Of Sheshas Amar below Shamash, not having a Gabai to help you out. <laughs> Some Kasidis or Rebbe's will tell you they don't have the Gabai, they're, they're lost. Rav Nachman Amar below Dea, without understanding. Tana below Melachs. The Braisa says without, it means without salt, over low Revav, you don't have fat. You know, eating food without oil and, and fat, you know, doesn't taste as good, even though fat is considered unhealthy. But if you have food without salt and without fat, it would be virtually not enjoyable. Amar Abaye, Naktina, ain't ani elabideya. You only consider it a poor person if you lack knowledge. Lacking knowledge is, I mean, some people say it's you don't remember the whole Talmud. You don't remember the whole Gemara. That's lacking deya. I think Das understanding is a little more than that. It's understanding what the true interpretation of the words of the Gemara are. Um, we're all poor people, right? We think we're all rich. We all have a lot of money. Jews are affluent these days, but really no one understands the Sotos HaTorah, especially that guy that thought. We're all poor people nowadays. Marova Amri and Eretz they said, the Dabe Kulabe, anyone who has knowledge, he's got everything. The low Dabe, he doesn't have knowledge. Mabe, what does he have? Dakani Machaser, if he acquired knowledge, what does he lack? Dalokani Machani. If he hasn't acquired it, what has he acquired? He's acquired nothing. If you're familiar with these words, you're probably familiar from an Avram Fried song. Um, da be kule be me marava, something like that. <laughs> it's, a, it's an old song, but most people are familiar with the song. Amar Lozanji, Amar Rebchia Barava, Enoch Kola, Omer Michel Yad, Shemoch Noah Kol Venosa. When you get sick, we're talking about in these Gemara's. Uh, a long sickness, probably where you're in severe to critical condition. Uh, we're not talking about getting the flu or something like that. So someone who gets sick and he heals, you know, where he's on the verge of the brink of death. All of his averos are forgiven to him. Before the refuah comes, Hashem forgives all your sins. When a person heals, seemingly miraculously, or from the brink of death, he goes back to being almost like a child, almost like an adolescent. Shemar Rutfash Besora Menor, the healing of his skin will bring him back to his Naras, will bring him back to his youth. The Ashub Lime Alumov, he'll return to the days of the youth. Called Mishkava Afakta Bechelio, what does that mean? Amber of Yosef Lomar the Mishkakeach the Mudo. Unfortunately, even though you get your sins forgiven, you go back to being a child, like Peter Pan. Uh, nonetheless, you forget your Talmud. Rav Yosef Chalash. Rav Yosef was weak. He got, got very sick. He akaleli mude. He forgot all his learning. Ahadra Abaye Kamei. Now, Rav Yosef, right? The Gemara says Rav Yosef and Rabba argue. Rabba said, Oker Harim is better. Analyze the Gemara. Rav Yosef says, no. To remember all the Gemara is better. Mari Club, you know, everyone needs people who have wheat. Especially now, we're talking about Ukraine, Russia exporting wheat. So, everyone needs wheat. Um, Rav Yosef was the Harsina, he knew everything, but he forgot everything. Ahadri Abaye Kame, Abaye sort of returned it to Yav Yosef. He reminded of Yosef whenever Yosef was coming across on me and teaching, he would say, You taught us this. I knew them called Dukta. That's where all of us shas. I mean, Amar Rav Yosef, Lo Shmiel, Yosef 
Abai said something. And Yosef says, I never heard such a thing. Amrle Abai, Ata Amrisa Nahalan, Umahama Sisa Marta, Amrisa Nihalan. You told this teaching to us. Not only did you te teach us the teaching, but you also told us where it's from, where it's sourced in the Mishnah of Raisa. Kava Gomer Rebbe, Tlasa Asrei Api Hilchasa. Rebbe right, is famous for making the Mishnayas, right? So he had 13 versions of the Mishnayas originally. That's how he formulated. He wasn't sure. Eventually, I guess he settled on one version. Agmei the Rebbe Chia Shiva Minon. He taught Rebbe Chia, who was a student, he taught him seven of them. Lasof Chalash. Then he ended up getting sick. College Rabbi Ahad Reb Chia Kameh Hanu Shiva Reb Chia, who was taught these seven versions, restored it to Rabbi. I feel the Agmre Ape How Shiva Ape the Agmre Shisa Azu. However, the other six that you didn't teach him, they were lost. Hava Hu Katra Hava Shmiel. However, there was a certain person in the laundromat that Rabbi used. He heard the other six versions. The Rabbi Ktava Garis when he was learning them. Azar Reb Chia Vakamre Yasun. Kami Kitsre, Rukhia learned them from the laundromat guy, <laughs> the dry cleaner. Asav Ahadar Yason Kami Rebbe, and then he went and back taught Rebbe. Karava Chazi Rebbe Lehu Katsra, when Rebbe would see this this dry cleaner, the Korean uh, dry cleaner. I'm going to say, Rebbe, Ata Asisa, OC, you made me a vast Chia, and you made me an Chia. You could have a Chia, and Ata Asisa, Chia, you made Chia by teaching him. The six that were lost, Vichia Asa Osi and Chia taught them back to me. The miracle that happens to Achola, that is on the brink of death. Yosar Minanis, Shinasa the Khanani Mishal Vazari is greater than Khanani Mishal Vazari being saved from a, the, fi, the, the fire, uh, being in a fire, in a in a furnace. Shachanani Mishal Vazari, Aishal Hedyod. It was a, a regular fire that was made by man. Any human being has the ability to extinguish human fire. Usually when a person gets very sick, right? They have fever, their body temperature goes up. They have a, a who has the power, right? Healing from an illness, really, you can daven for that person. Well, there's not much more you can do. Um, it's the grace of God. So the person who's saved from that has more to be thankful for than the actual nace of Hanani Mishal Vazaria. Once a person's end has come, meaning he's lived for the amount of days that he's supposed to live, he can be killed for anything in creation has the ability to overtake him. Shemar Hayak Komoti Hargani Kayan says, right, apparently death was decreed upon him for killing Hevel. He says it, he complains to Hashem, anyone who finds will kill me. Rav Amar Mahadin Kra. Rav brings support for this from a different pasuk. Mishmatecha Amdu Ayom Ki Hakol Avadecha for judgment stood today. Hakol Avadecha. All things in creation are the shluchim, are agents of Hashem in killing the person. Rav Varshila Amulei. Rav Varshila told him Shachiv Gavra Gavo, a very tall person. Rav Rachiv Giruduna Zutra, who is riding a very small, <laughs> short mule. Mata Titura Istavit Shadia. He went on a small bridge. And he stabbed Shadia Kashachiv, even though he was such a big person, and the mule was so small, it got very angry. The mule and it threw him over the bridge. Kari al Nafshay Mishpatecha Abdu Ayom. When he heard about the story, he said, "Anyone, even a small mule, can kill a big person." Shmuel Chazay Lehu Yisiva al Akrokra Karkukis da Abra Yisiva al Akrokta ba Abra Nara Tarka Gavro Mayas. He saw a scorpion who rode the back. Of a toad, a toad crossed him over, ferried him over the river. Once it got to the second side of the river, it, it bit the scorpion, stung a person, and the person died from that sting. When he found out about this, he said, That's evidence of the Pasuk. Anything, even a toad ferrying a scorpion over a river, will do its bidding in order to fulfill the decree of death. You only do bigger chol when someone has a high fever. La fuge mai. doesn't just mean to have a high fever. You visit any sick person. If he has a broken bone, um, he has torn Achilles, <laughs> he has a broken leg like Jimmy Garavolo. Um, someone who has you know, Crohn's disease or something like that. Um, where he's going to the bathroom, and 
people who have a sickness with their eye, people who have migraine headaches, you don't want to visit someone with stomach problems because he's going to embarrass. He's going to go to the bathroom, excuse himself. Why don't you visit those people? Right? If you have pain in your eye, speaking causes more pain in your eye. And similarly, obviously, someone who has a migraine headache, it causes pain. However, speaking helps a person who has fever. Mali, if it wasn't the main, the main agent that the, the Malachlava uses to kill people, a fever, usually people would die, they get a fever first, right? If it wasn't the product of the Malachlava, it actually would be a good thing. Mali, Kichizra, the top of the Malachlava bays, the Dikle, around palm trees, they have thorn bushes. The thorn bushes keep animals, uh, rodents away from destroying the palm the palm branch, the, the palm tree, chayla tlas and yomim, right? It's good to get fever once every thirty days. Chitayraiki the guva, it's like if a, a snake or a scorpion will bite you. There are certain anti-venomous uh, medicines that you can take. That's what is good. Having fever is like that. It's not good to get fever, and it's not good to get any of these get bit by a venomous snake. Or a scorpion have to use anti venom medicine. I'm a rabbi bar Yonasan, I'm a rabbi Yechiel, Ersan Yafa Lachola. A person sick, the Rafu also. Ersan is a type of farina made out of barley. My Ersan, I'm a rabbi Yonasan, Kushla, the Tsari, Atiksta, the Reish Nafia. It's talking about barley that, um, old barley that, um, went through a sieve, you know, it's processed. Um, but it's it's barley that's just peeled the outer skill, but it's pretty much raw. Amar Abaye, it wasn't ground up yet, and you make it into a farina, that's good for you. Amar Abaye, Bayin, Bishula, Kain, Bishra, the Tura, right? Starskal means you have to cook it a lot, like the meat of a cow, but if you've never had a good steak, you know you're not supposed to cook it so much. So I would think you don't cook it so much. Uh, Amar Yochanan, uh, Rabbi Yosef Amar, Smidi Desari, it's actually fine, finely ground up barley. Asik, the old barley, the Reish Nafia, that also went through a sieve. Amar Abaye, Bayan Bishul Kibisra, the Tura. Again, he says, you shouldn't cook it that much. Amar Yochanan, Burdom, in Mavakar, and Vemas Kirinishmo. Someone has Burdom, I think this means cancer. That's my opinion. Um, according to the article, it means uh, having excess amount of blood. Um, you don't visit that person. Vemas Kirinishmo, you don't even mention it. He didn't mention his name. My time, my relative, Nezhu Kamayana Novea. It's like a spring that just keeps on going. And if you know what cancer is, cancer is basically the cells just keep on growing and growing and growing wherever they are. And therefore, it eventually overtakes you and kills you. I'm a lizard, and I'm going to crush more boredom. Why is it called boredom? I'm sure in Ovea, so the Gemara article explains boredom, boredom, two words, like a pit, uh, you know, of, of blood, you know, a big pit that contains a lot of blood. There's excessive bleeding. So they say it's, very, it's really referring to hemorrhoids or something like that. I say... In the blood, you can have excessive cells. You can have leukemia or something like that, um, which is the white blood cell, cancer of the white blood cell. So you can have, uh, it's basically excessive. That's an example of boredom. We can have excessive cells of the blood. We could also have excessive cells in other parts of your body, which basically is cancer, which people don't like to talk about. They don't say it's a macula. They don't say cancer. Um, so that's, I think, what it's talking about. And Rafael Rufo has a nefesh. Misha says that you provide Rufus and Nefesh, someone who can't get enough from you, right? You can he he can be wrap it up in Rufus and Nefesh, but not Rufus Aguf. Hey Kikasani, what is the Gemara saying? Ilema the Mishnah is saying, Ilema the Rufus Nefesh Pachina, Rufus Mambaskar. Meaning what we're talking about that the healer, the doctor, right, can't benefit from the sick person. So therefore he can heal him for free, but he can't take compensation. Take compensation, he's benefiting from him. Listening, Haki, if that were really true, Rapeo Bechina of Why does it say Rafuas and Nefesh and Rafuas Mamu Rafuas Nefesh? He just said he can free, he could say it more clearly. You can, he could heal him, but only for free, not taking a payment. El Rafuas Nefesh Gufo, Rafuas Mamu Behemto. Mishnah means that he can heal the person's body. It's talking about where the sick person can't get Hana from the doctor. So he could heal the person's body. Uh, however, he can't heal his animal's sick. He can't be a veterinarian and treat his animal. 
Now, what's the reason that it can heal the person? Um, so, some people say it's because it's a mitzvah to heal a person, and therefore, a mitzvah, la Lahana said, no, you can't take scar for that, so whatever the explanation is. I think you could charge for a mitzvah. The reason I think it's mutter, like we said before, the Gemara says, lo adra mi say things that are essential to your well-being or to staying alive, a person doesn't include in his nether. So therefore, for his own health, he didn't include that in his nether. He doesn't want to get benefit from the doctor. He didn't include things that will save his life, his, his animals, or just his possessions. So therefore, that would be included in his nether. He can say you're about the animal. This is a good medicine for the animal, not a good, bad medicine for the animal. He's allowed to say that. That's only merely words or advice. And giving advice to someone, you're really not supposed to take money for it. Even if you're a doctor, even if you're a big rabbi, even if you're a big psychiatrist or psychologist, advice is for free. It should be for free. Unless you have a session, you sit down and take a guy's time. But advice shouldn't be charging money for it. Mishra says, The Roch is imo v'ambatik dola v'alo b'ktana. If you're forbidden from getting enough from somebody, one of the people in the pool is Oster. So you can go in a pool together, a big pool, an Olympic sized pool. I'm a little bit of time, I'm not in a jacuzzi. You can't go in a jacuzzi together. Um, because in a jacuzzi, you're going to talk to each other, you're going to enjoy each other's company. You could sleep together in a bed, two men. However, he says it's only talking about during the summer. During the winter, right? Sometimes you don't have heat in the room, and the bodies being close together, they give warmth to each other, so it's a problem. He could recline on a bed or on a couch, they could recline together. They could eat together on the same table, even though they're sharing food from the main tray. However, if there's one tray of food in the middle of the table, and they're not passing it around, it's a big tray of food, each one taking it. So you can, if one of the persons are also hana from the other person, they both can't eat the same table because generally when there's one pot or one tray in the middle of the table, so people are going to feel guilty taking what they want. They're going to leave over for the other person. They're going to benefit the other person. However, if it's a tray of food that's being passed around to everyone, people, once it gets to them, it's in their personal hands. They don't feel guilty taking what they want. The Lord says, Tanya, lo yuchazimu amabati, lo yishen imo amita. The Brisa says, you can't swim with him in a pool. Lo yashen imo amita, you can't sleep in a bed together. Bang dola, bang tanya, the Rebbe Meir argues on a mission. He says, even in a big pool, it's aser. Even in a big bed, it's aser. King-size bed. I suppose a queen-size bed. Rehuda omer, dola, you must have shamim, b'ktani, you must have chama. Rehuda says, you could sleep with him in a big bed. Even most like Shaman, because you're not next to each other, you're not warming each other up. Even a small bed, a queen, I hope it's a queen size bed, if two men sleeping together and it's not a double bed, or even worse, a full bed, which is only one meter. Um, um, uh, Mutter, uh, Lyrical uh, Mutter, Roche, Simon, and Batik, Dola, according to Rabbi Huda. You can go in a swimming pool together with a big swimming pool. Even a small sauna. You're allowed to go in a sauna with him because people in a sauna, when you're in a jacuzzi together, you're more likely to enjoy each other's company. When you're in a sauna, it's very hot in there. It's hard to focus on your conversation. You could recline on a couch together. You can eat at a table together. But not from, again, a main serving plate that's not moving. Something that's being passed around. You could. I'm Yosef Rechania. I mean, I'm Tamkoy Achozel Balabais. Yosef Rechania has a homer. He says it has to be something which, when it gets to the, it'll go around the table and gets back to the host, he's going to refill it with more food. So therefore, you never feel guilty at taking what you want and you're not leaving over for the other person. And this is just, apparently they have workers. Um, an office is a, tra- a trough, like for animals. I don't know. When they had workers, they would leave uh, spread for them. To eat from, um, which is a lot of food. However, it's like a tray in the middle of the table. You're gonna leave over for your friend and feel guilty. You also shouldn't work while you're next to him in the field in the same row of grapevines. Grape Come say you're allowed to as long as you're 
it's the same row as long as you're distant from him, you can work together. We'll see the problem in the Gemara. There has a car of low pligi to us. Everyone agrees is working next to him in the same row as us. When you're working in the same row, but you're far away, right? Right? If you're gonna be allowed to work far, far away, you're gonna come to work close. And what's gonna happen? The are when you're you're hoeing or digging in the ground, right? So when you dig in your ground, it softens the ground next to you. You're helping the other person have easier work. All right, come here. Rabban and Zavar look at you. and say, no, if you're far away, it doesn't mean you're going to come to work close together. That's the conclusion of today's year. Stay tuned for Ian, uh, Ian with Ben Sion. We talk more about this stuff. Hope you enjoyed. See you. Ian with Ben Sion coming up next.